Hello there guys and gals, Lou Welsh and here back with yet another 100% achievement guide for Xbox and Steam slash trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the fantastic puzzler Creeks. This was developed and published by Amanita Design and is usually available for £17.99 but as of this recording is on sale for just £6.29 slash £6.99. Plus of course look out for any future sales or hopefully it'll come on the Xbox Game Pass soon. So this puzzler is a puzzler, but it doesn't act as a normal puzzle game. It's fraught with danger, furniture monsters, yeah, you'll see. Um, as we have to navigate these things around in order to proceed. It's a properly good game. The design of it looks fantastic and overall was just brilliant. It's not insanely easy like some that we've seen, but it's not too challenging either, so it's a good balance of both worlds. As in, you ain't having your 1000 and platinum in 10 minutes, but you're not throwing your controller accidentally at the person you live with, so... It's a win-win. Now, achievements-wise, it's basically for finding all the artwork in the game. There are 34 paintings to find, and 11 of those are interactive, i.e. mini-games. And finding all 14 secret rooms. Now, they can be easily missed, so pay attention, my friends. Plus one for completing the game. So, overall, you'll be looking at around 3-4 to four hours to complete this. So, with that being said, then, well, let us begin. And we start off with... I don't know, this guy looks like a Gary. Like, for some reason, he just reminds me of a Gary. N nothing, uh... Oh, no, I don't want to offend the Garys, actually. Garys, you're all beautiful, honestly. So, left stick to move. The A button <laughs> is to uh, interact with things. Uh, Garys have big wieners. That, that's uh, that's all I know about Garys. Mm, some of them. Mm, maybe none of them. Anyway, from here, just head back to your desk. And take a sit down. Start reading. You kind of look like a... Lonely, n nerdy man who just spends all the time in his bedroom, which is pretty much what all of us like to do. I'll, I'll be honest, that's me. That is me, actually. This should be called, uh, this should be called a Kyle, really. But uh, no, we're going to stick with Gary. He just reminds me of a Gary. Anyway, wallpaper comes down. Press the A button next to it to tap it back up. And just head back to your desk. Now, at this point, you're thinking, bruh, that is no broken bar, but that is pure ghost mode. I'm getting my white ass out of here. So, but when we interact with it, shit starts going wrong, and then we're like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? I'm scared! And when did that safe looking thing appear? So, that's what we're going to do, we're going to interact with that boy, let's go and take a little look down. Why not, isn't it? Because that's what you'd normally do, if you see a big safe thing like that in your bedroom, you'd just go down and take a look and do some exploring. Or if you're like me, which is more cowardly, you just go down, get a cup of tea, put the wallpaper back up, and forget that it was ever there. But then you think, is there money behind the wall? No, it's going to be full of spiders and crap that wants to kill you. So, oh, unless, of course, they clean it out first and then put it on a TikTok video. Hmm. Oh, wow, look what I just randomly found in the house I've been living here for 30 years. Yeah, just shove it. Shove it, mate. Anyway, we're going to start heading down. When we do get to some cutscenes, I will be skipping all the cutscenes, and you can do that by pressing the X button or the uh, square if you're playing on PlayStation. Um, so again, some cutscenes you can skip, some cutscenes you can't, but I will be skipping most of the cutscenes that I can just for time, just so we can crack on with it. Uh, normally, it's you just see a bunch of like chickens or something playing with a book, and you know it's nothing of too importance. Chickens playing with themselves. Yeah, that's not what you want to be looking at. <laughs> that's not what I came down here for. Now, imagine if this was just in your bedroom. You'd be, uh, well, <laughs> you'd, I, I don't know what you'd do. You'd definitely take a camcorder or put it on TikTok. Yeah. Right, so to go up and down, you just got to press, of course, left stick um, to go up or down, whatever you want. Um, obviously, the A button. So if you want to go down off a ledge or go across, press the desired uh, location and then just press the A button to jump down. Uh, this is kind of a linear path, so don't worry about getting lost for the moment. It's not too shabby, but we are just going to be climbing up. Uh, but there are certain levels that, that that you can get off if you want to. So we are just going to be getting off on this section right here, jumping down and jumping across. And again, you can either go down or across. We're just going to keep going down 
for the time being and oh that happens unlucky so yeah with this puzzler there are obviously a lot of ways there are a few ways in each puzzle section that we can complete it but i believe the ways i've done it are the fastest ways i could be wrong and somebody could find a, a quicker way than me which i hope you do because then you can take my job i'm getting too old for this work and stuff i need to be a millionaire and quit it right so we'll just cut that cutscene out and keep on heading down, 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 down. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, you know, you know the song. Sing it. So, <laughs> well, okay, don't sing it. We've got a lot to get through right here. So, take a check down. If you want to watch the cutscene, you're more than welcome to. But we're gonna skip it now. These are the first sort of enemies of the do of the game. Um, basically, if you go close to them, they do start chasing you pretty much like a dog. So, as you'll be able to see, we're going to climb down. We're going to go quite close to him, not all the way, but just a few steps away. And then as soon as he starts barking and going, woof, woof, I'm going to eat your ass. Not literally, of course. I mean, probably literally. Jump up the ladder, press down and then A to jump down. And then you can start climbing down the ladder, uh, ladder again by pressing down on the left stick. So there we go, eventually we do get there. So yeah, obviously these puzzles are going to be a bit more complicated. And I'm, I won't be speaking through every single puzzle because sometimes I feel it would be more helpful to just watch what I'm doing rather than me going, go up the ladder, go left once, go right twice. Me. Although then again, who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll see. So as soon as you get down here then, get the dog to ch start chasing you and then take a little jump down. For some reason there's a couple of ironing boards strapped together. Who's doing that? Climb back up, press the A button if you want to get off on um, a particular level as well. Either the A button, or you can just press left or right on the right directional stick. But we can just keep going. Now we're going to interact with this lever. Again, somebody's done a lot of work in putting a lot of hangers and strapping some mining boards together. It's not easy to do, you know. So jump down, but we can now jump to the left, and we can start heading down this ladder. Uh, some horseshoes as well. What in the... God damn hell is happening down here. What have we got ourselves in for? This is like Lord of the Rings, except it's completely nowhere near like Lord of the Rings. We are off on an adventure. Except Gary doesn't... Gary Big Nose here does not like adventures. He likes reading and pooping at a specific time in the day. 9.30 and 2 o'clock after every coffee. Anyway, when we get up here, we've got sleeping dogs. We're going to head up here, um, interact with the lever... And head down. What we're going to do is obviously uh, jump off this here. Get the dog to start chasing us. And then we can climb back up. Interact with the lever again. That's going to put the other door down. Happy days. And then what we're going to do. Get him to start chasing us again. And then climb back up the ladder. Interact with the lever again. And that's going to lock him to the other side. And we are golden as nuggets. So we can just jump off this ledge. Oh, jump off this floor. I'm going to just call them all floors because they're not ledges, are they? So we'll smash out that cutscene and keep on going. So if you want to, Gary Big Nose, take a walk down. Walk downtown to Brown Town. I don't like Brown Town, actually. So what you're going to see, we're going to head down this ladder. And what we're going to see as we jump down again, and then we are going to jump down again. But basically, the enemies in this game do not like light, so you can stand in the light and be safe, which, um, since we dropped the uh, flashlight at the beginning of the game, that would have come in mega handy. And basically, these animals, or these whatever it is, if you get them in the light at a specific point, you can get them, uh, they turn into like furniture. So as soon as this cutscene ends, you need to run to the left now and jump down, otherwise you're going to be eaten. Your ass is going to be eaten, and Gary doesn't like that, oh god no. He doesn't like sexual intercourse with dogs. D not that many people do, to be fair. Um, as we climbed up the right ladder, we can jump down. And then get the two dogs sort of close by together. And then we can jump down and head over to the other side. Sorry, I was talking about uh, Gary and his non-love for animal incestuation or whatever that is. <laughs> Instead of telling you what to do. My bad. So, interact with this lever on the right. That is going to push that one down. What we can do is now get the dog from earlier on to chase us. And we can just climb up the left ladder. And then press the light as soon press the switch as soon as the dog gets under the light so you'll be seeing that quite a bit through the game and as you can see he's turned into this um 
kitchen cabinet or just regular cabinet push it over slightly with the a button and then we can press up on the left stick to move so that is what we're going to be doing a lot through this game is pressing light switches at the right time it doesn't matter if you don't get them straight away because eventually they start walking back so you can still um push the switch there as well so definitely worth taking your time you know ne never need no need to rush now these are the art paintings now like i said there are 34 to collect i'm not sure if you if they count if you just walk by them but i interact with every single painting in the game anyway just to be on the safe side so that'll be a first achievement so now we can jump down we're going to get the dog to chase us go to the light switch and as soon as he gets to the second lampshade turn it on so just about <laughs> got away with that one right there so that one's good now we can just go over to the other side uh click on this light switch again and sort of put him over to the sort of more of the left hand side as close as you can without him turning back and killing your ass right turn off that switch now we're going to turn on the third light switch right there there's four light switches for us to, to um switch turn on number two again sorry i think i've done that in a bit of a uh wrong order so we actually need just the first light switch on pop him over turn off the third light switch and then the second light switch we need him to come all the way over go all the way to the third uh, the right switch on the right hand side and bam there he goes and then what we can do is actually turn on the third light switch and that will put us up. So basically, all we needed him to do was go to the left to turn on the right uh, light switches. But I've done that in kind of a weird particular way. Uh, so apologies. That definitely wasn't the quickest way. So um, please don't hate me. And if you do, well, that's not bad. Anyway, <laughs> you're going to fall down. There's going to be another cutscene right here. Again, these dogs cannot hurt you because we are on the light. So unlucky. And they are some of the ugliest dogs you've ever seen. Turn on the light switch there, which you were right by. And that is going to turn on the light. Turn him into a kitchen cabinet. And then we can just climb up. Lovely jubbly. Jump down. And just as soon as the dog starts chasing you, jump up. And then what we can do is drag this cabinet. As you can see, we're going to drag it. And pop it on the switch that we can stand on. And that's going to get us past this robo ugly ass doggy. Well done, Gary. Well done, Gary Big Nose. You're doing a fantastic job of not dying so far. Even though I think it died about five times so far. So, go to the bottom. Get this dog to chase you. And then up to the top. And then this dog to chase you again. Now, eventually, he will... Now, stay sort of in the middle of the ladder. Right there until the light comes on. That is job done. Then we can just go over to the other side. Now, we've got to wait here for just a second. While Ugly Robo Dog starts nipping off. There he goes. Once that's done... Uh, the ugly robot dog's going to start chasing us again, so just jump up, and there we go. That is that. Then we can just climb up as soon as he turns into furniture, and life is as golden as play. Whatever golden play is. Right, here we go. We're going to climb all the way to the top this time. In this room, we're going to interact with El Leverini to put the left-hand side door down. And we're going to jump up, jump off on this floor, and we're going to get Doggy to chase us, and we're just going to climb up this ladder again. And we're going to interact with the lever once more. Bang toy, mate. Right, so from here, we're just going to wait just a little second. Wait for the ugly ass dog to disappear. I don't even know what the hell, the hunchback of Notre Dog. Or something, I don't know. Anyway, jump back off the floor when the dog goes to the right. Get the left side dog to chase us. And the right side. And they both should now put the two lights on. Which should be good for us to climb up the right hand side ladder. And get us out of here. So yeah, life's good. How's your life? Good? Oh, fantastic. Another cutscene coming up. We can just skip by. Again, it's just chickens or... I don't know, something. You, you'll soon see. You, you will see. You've probably already seen it. I didn't bother, though. So, climbing up. Now we've got another two dogs to nip on by. So, first one right at the top. Get him to chase you. And then we're going to jump down. Boop. There we go. Fair play, Gary. You ain't got them skinny-ass calf angles, you. Right, climb back up the ladder. And get the dog to chase us to the side. And then, as soon as he starts chasing us, jump down the ladder again. And he turns his little pal into a cabinet. Which, again, 
I really would like to know who came up with that idea. How do you get past the enemies? Screw it, turn them into furniture in the light. Why the hell not? So this is our first interactive painting. Like I said, there are 11 of these. What we need to do is press the white button to start it off. And then it'll be... Um, at, for this one, we've just got to jump over the obstacles. So anytime there's, there's an obstacle coming your way, press the A button to jump over. Um, these do get progressively a little bit more difficult. Um, but with a little bit of explaining, they're not actually too bad. So for this one, just keep jumping over the obstacles. And like I said, life is as golden as Nuggetry. And there we go then. So that's the first one done. We can now interact. Well, we can't interact. We can just start going down the ladder and solve the next puzzle. So middle floor, interact with the lever to put that one down. And then we can jump down again with Gary's manly beefy ankle calves. Switch, turn on the switch light and just head on up. And then we can interact with the lever again to put the door back up. I tell you, it's all its all for a good cause. As we head back down the ladder, we're going to turn off that same light switch. And then we're going to get him to start chasing us. As soon as he's here, turn on the light switch right in the middle. There we go. That turns him into another desk or something. So, turn on the light switch again. So that two light switches are down on the bottom. Put the third one, uh, the lever down again. And he's going to start just nipping back to his little bed. But he's like, oh my god, I can't. But he actually stands on the light switch. Which puts this switch on at the top. Which enables us to move on. Which witchy witchcraft do da 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 do da 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 witch. Who came the witch doctor and who stuck it up his bum. Right, so uh, get this next dog to chase you. And head up the ladder there. Interact with this lever. And we're going to put that one down. And then we can head down this broken half ladder. And we can head down We'll be coming back to this boy, not a good boy, in just a little bit. Head all the way up to the top and interact with the lever. That's going to put this bridge down of sorts. Then interact with the left-hand side lever as the dog goes back to his little bed. Interact with the next lever on the left to put that door up as well. So we can head back down, interact with the second of the three levers there, and we can head down. So this dog, we're going to get us to start chasing us, but we are going to jump down. Make sure he doesn't eat your ass out. Nobody wants that. Now where Gary poops off at 9.30 in the morning. Head all the way to the right, and then as soon as he gets here, he's not going to he's not going to bother you. So he can stand on the left switch. He's going to turn into a desk. Get him all the way over to the right. Eventually. Again, pressing the A button. There we go. So we should be good. Um... So now we need the other dog, because of course we can't climb up the ladder just yet. So, head up, put this bookcase down, and um, interact with the other lever there to put that one down. Put the bookcase back up, and start heading back down. Get off this floor, get the dog to start chasing you. Come on, you bad boy. You piece of crap. You stupid dog. He's not a good dog, he's only got one eye. And there we go. He's not going to bother you again. So just stand on the left-hand side floor plate. And life is out of him. Drag him over to the middle. And as you can see, just at the top there, we can now um, get up. Because he has been turned into another cabinet. Happy days. Now, you don't actually have to watch all of these views either. Um, I thought it would be for an achievement or something, to be honest. But, um, yeah, apparently I was a bit moronic right there. Uh, but you can look at all the views, nice views anyway, of everything trying to kill you. So, head down, interact with this art painting, press the Y button. Like I said, this doesn't get you a specific achievement, but I interact with all of these paintings anyway, just to be on the safe side, because the last thing you want to do is play through a three to four hour game and have not something unlock because you messed up and you don't, didn't know what it was. So, as soon as the painting's done, well, that's our cute exit, honey. Oh, God, I crap my pants. I thought there was a spider on my screen, and it turned out it was on the game. Head all the way down anyway. Just enjoy the views of everything trying to kill you for deafness now.
Right, so we've got these new enemies, uh, the jellyfish. Now, um, wait until the top one goes to the right and start heading down. These basically just go on patrol. Um, again, they don't go into the light because they're scared. Um, and the only way they actually catch you is if you go directly in front of them. So soon, if you go directly in front of them, they kill you. So just wait until, you know, they're, they're easy enough, these little things on patrol. You've literally just got to wait until they float past you. There we go. So wait for Mr. Bottom Man to walk past. Or float past, whatever. The old tent are cruel. And head to the right. Start heading up. We're just going to wait for this top one here to start nipping by to the right. Basically, like every security, <laughs> security guard in Britain. Just like, well, I'm going to have a look, but I can't be asked to do anything. They pay me well to sit on my ass. What do you want me to do? Right, so as soon as he goes, interact with this lever on this floor. That opens up the bottom left-hand side door. And then we can just head all the way down. Head up on this middle ladder. Sort of halfway through. Tentacool. Come on, Tentacool. Get your ass done, boy. And there we go. So, doors open on the left. We can start heading back down the ladder. A lot of ladders. But you will see how annoying it will be um, as we get to the end. And you realise... Oh, wait, we could have just done that all along. <laughs> Isn't that freaking tasty? So, interact with the crutch scene or get rid of it, whichever one you want to do. And just head up and wait here for the time being. Because this jelly tentacle is going to come all the way to the left-hand side. Have a look up, have a look down. It doesn't matter if he looks up or down. Um, it's only when you're directly in front of him. So, as soon as he goes to the right, get up and then jump down on this flower. Interact with this lever. And then jump down onto the left-hand side again. Again, obviously we've just opened up the bookcase for Tentacool to start nipping on by. So, up we get, up we get. And he's going to start going, so we can just follow him and then go down this half-broken ladder. Interact with this lever, which is on this flower again. And once more then, we just have to wait for Tentacool to come to the left, so head on to this left ladder. Wait! My god, don't die! Okay, there we go. So once he starts nipping off to the right, we can basically follow him. But what we're going to do is actually wait um, on this ladder. Don't jump down just yet, or at all. Because if you jump down, then that's, that costs you another 30 seconds, and your life is precious. Right, as soon as he starts nipping to the left, we are good to go to the right, jumping down, and that's the next area, complete arena. Another cutscene. Now again, if stuff is starting to wobble... Me, personally, I'd, I'd start running back up rather than running down. But again, that's me. I am complete fanny. So, unlucky for us, huh? Okay, so, here we go. We're going to wait just a second as Tentacool starts appearing by. Now, again, even if you're stood directly in the light, he will not... None of these enemies will attack you. So, don't panic your butt snatch off about it. But we're going to head to the right on this floor plate... And then what he's going to do is go, oh, that's an enemy, but, uh, you know, let's just start floating up instead. <laughs> and as soon as he does, run to the right, climb up the ladder, all the way to the top, and then interact with this next painting. Again, there is a view on the right-hand side. Very pretty. Um, somehow, something is flying kites. Maybe it's our chicken friends. Anyway, interact with this painting again by pressing the Y button. I mean, it's all very interesting. Now, personally, I haven't got a freaking clue what's going on, but <laughs> very interesting nonetheless, I suppose. So we're going to be doing a lot of light manipulation with Tentacool right here. So interact with the lever on the left-hand side, that'll open up the door. Head all the way back down, wait until Tentacool is going to the left. And then we can just jump over and just stand on this floor plate with the light. And I say light manipulation because as you'll be able to see, he ain't going past. He's going to start floating up. And then we can just go all the way to the left and start heading down. Down, 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 da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Party on! Bam, 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 bam. Right, so, no time for partying because we are still crapping our pants. Look, there's one of our chicken friends right now. Mmm, he looks very fancy eating his chicken balls from uh, from the Chinese. 
Oh my god, he's a cannibal! Anyway, heading up to the ladder on the left. And we can now jump down. Whoop, immediately jump down the ladder though, so dog doesn't eat you. And then start going to the right. Stand on this floor plate and it's going to start getting tentacool out. <laughs> Oops, there we go. So start, leave tentacool go, that's fine. And then what we can do is head back up the ladder. There we go. Tentacle's going to start going to uh, the up. And then he's going to start going left. He's going to start pushing Doggy over, which is fine. And then what we can do is interact with this switch that we are stood by right now. And that's going to turn that dog into some furniture. Right. Climb up. Interact with this lever, which is directly in front of us. And we're not quite done yet, but we can start heading down the ladder. We need the other dog as well to get out of the way. So, Tentacool is going to go back to his standard position. We're going to stand on the floor plate again. There he goes. Now, as you can see, Tentacool is not going to be able to go up. So, he is going to go down, down, down to down. Get out to down. So, we're going to basically just follow him now. So, he's going to start going down slowly, does it though, you know. We haven't got... I mean, we've got all day, apparently. Jesus Christ! Come in! And as soon as he starts nipping Dog out the way, we can start following him. And head down the ladder, and that is this scene. Finito, Benito. And here we are then. We've got a... Now, not a lot of these sections are timed, but basically you've got to be fast with some of it. So... Uh, head to the left and start heading down the ladder. We're going to stand just here for the Minito. Just as we see Tentacool nipping by below us. And then as soon as he does, jump off this floor and just wait here for a second. Right, so he starts floating up like a big bald biscuit in the sky. Wait until he starts going over to the left to nip on to Dog. And then as soon as he does, jump up. And just quickly interact with the lever. It should be fine. And that Dog will be furniture as well. Now, this is the part that is slightly tiny. But we're just going to wait on this ladder for a second. And he's going to float down. And he's going to start nipping over to the right. As soon as he does, we are going to go down on the same floor that he is. Now, this is the sort of timed section. So what... What he's going to do with Tentacool, he's going to turn around, and as soon as he starts looking up and starts floating, we need to get up on the top top floor immediately. So now, run as quick as you can, and then interact with the uh, floor next to us. The floor trap, or floor, whatever the bloody hell it's called. And he can start nipping over, over to the other side. Uh, just interact with the switch when he gets over there, and that should be both dogs done. Now we can start heading back down. But we are not quite finished yet, so we're going to get onto the sort of third lower floor right there, wait for Tentacool again. A lot of waiting, a lot of pooping, a lot of weeping, a lot of whapping. So as soon as he starts floating up, head up again, and then quickly get over to the light. Now, if you do end up dying, you don't have to uh, replay this whole section again, you don't have to replay sections, you just start a little bit um, further down, that's all. Uh, a little bit further than where you were. So it's not too bad. So as soon as the, he starts getting the dog over to the left hand side. Dog is going to turn into furniture. So this is basically done. Now we can just head up the ladder ever so slightly. Wait until Tentacool nips on by. Come on butt snatch. Let's get out of here. Right jump back down. And then we can just head down the ladder. Uh, where the dog furniture is. Okay that 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 is that bit. Nice and done. That's that cut scene. Done as well. I do hope as well that my uh, explanations, that you can follow along with my explanations. Apologies if I'm a bit not good with the explanations or anything. Please just let me know uh, in the comment section below if I could have done something a bit better or explained it a bit more. Always, always want to hear any constructive criticism um, to make my future videos much better. So. Uh, head over to the right anyway, we're going to look at this view, very delicious, yum yums, and we're going to climb down this ladder, and we've got our second interactive painting here, so what we need to do, again this bit is very easy, but on the right hand side, just go to the, I believe it is the top one first, so we've got four notes that we need to interact with, and then press the A button when you're on that specific note, so top one first, then the third one, then the bottom one, 
and then the second one. And that is that song done with old big chicken nose right here. Or oh, is that supposed to be like a human duck? Who is banging ducks again? No, that's not a good look. Can you imagine that? Oh, sorry, I got a duck pregnant. Just, I don't know how the hell that happened. Anyway, he plays the song. We've already got the achievement. You can actually now just press the B button. You don't have to listen to the whole song. You don't have to watch the whole cutscene or whatever play out. You can just press the B button to get out of there and head down the ladder. So now time for a little bit of lever interaction. So with the first one, jump over to the other side. Interact with this lever. Jump back over to the left and close it. We'll just wait now for Tentacool to pop his ass by. Come in. So once he starts going to the right, quickly open up this one, jump to the other side and interact with the lever to quickly close the other bookshelf. Again, all he'll do is just take like 20 seconds or something <laughs> to do it again if you missed that one. As he goes up, we can now go to the right. And when he goes down, it starts heading to the left or really. There we go. So we can just follow, follow, follow. Come on. Okay, jump over to the left, interact with the lever again. And he can start now heading up. And we're just going to go to the left when once he does. So we do get there. I mean, we do get there eventually. Again, there could be quicker ways to do this puzzle, but... The way this bloody jellyfish moves, probably not. But now he's going to start heading down anyway. And he's going to start pissing around with the dog. So as soon as he does, we can now jump down and head down the ladder. Life is good. Except it's not because we've still got a lot to do. Time for another cutscene. If you want to watch a chicken sit down and do stuff. I don't know. I don't know what chickens do on a daily basis. I'm not a chicken farmer, damn it. Um, we... Don't need to go there. I think we can just head straight down the ladder there. Yes, we can. And again, we've got one more tentacle to nip by. So, heading on down to the end. So, flick the switch off. And then we can just wait for a moment. As soon as tentacle starts going up... Climb up the ladder after him, but get off on the second floor, jump over to the left-hand side, and switch off this next light. There we go. So there should only be one remaining. We're going to wait for another couple of seconds. And as soon as he starts going to the left, go to the left and pu push the switch on. This way he's going to go down. And then what we can do now is just jump down as soon as he, le uh, as soon as he goes to the right of us. There we go, jump down, and now turn the switch back on. And he's going to be like, Ah, you son of a bitch, man, how'd you do that? And we're going to be like, <laughs> Up your nan, buddy, up your mother. So we can now start climbing up the ladder, as quick as you can. And what he's going to do now is start going all the way to the right. And what we need to do is, as soon as he gets underneath the lampshade, just past this door, we need to quickly go and switch on the light there. So... There we go, so that will turn him into a globe. Looks very expensive. We literally could have taken this one away and uh, got some money for our troubles, but apparently we're not doing that. So, anyway, head down to the uh, third floor, we'll call it there. And then we can jump up and head all the way up, and that is that section done. So, yeah, from I'll, I'll say the top floor will be like the first floor. No, the first, or was that the fourth floor? Ta like, we... Mm. Anyway, press the button. We're going to be waiting for a lift for a minute, but uh, we say top floor. Yeah, anyway, we, we'll come to it when we, when we get there again. Otherwise, I'm just going to confuse the crap out of everyone. So let's climb on up. Because again, this is what you do as soon as you see a giant bird's mouth opening up, you go in. <laughs> but we're going to head up the ladder, go to the left. Now, if you hold the A button and uh, press left or right, you can choose this switch. Now, what we're going to do is put it on this flower first, get the tentacool, uh, open up the sun of the floor switch to, to get the bookcase up, to get tentacool to come to the left. That's what I'm trying to say. And then, of course, because he has nowhere else to go, he's going to start looking down and he's going to go down. 
And then as soon as he does interact with that again, remember to hold A and then put it to the right, just on top of the ladder there. And wait. And we wait. And we... Wah, 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 wah. He's like, ah, oh, you son of a bitch, man. You've done it again. Because Gary is super cute. Right, as soon as he jumps over the left, quickly put it all the way over to the left. And there we go. So you, you can actually just hold on to the left stick rather than doing it once at a time like I was doing for some reason. So turns into a globe on the floor switch. We are good to go. Right then, so we've got two dogs we need to get by. And the first thing we're going to do is head up the uh, middle ladder, or the only ladder. Go to the left, interact with the switch again, hold the A button, turn it all the way to the right until we get just uh, just on sort of the, to the top floor there. Head back down, get the dog to chase you, and head back up the ladder. So obviously he's going to stay here for the moment. Now what we can do is grab the lever, put it all the way back over, sort of until slightly just before the ladder get the other dog to chase you and he should be around there so now what we can do is just put it all the way to the left again until this dog on the bottom stands on this floor switch but we need to actually turn the top light off first so the top dog can go there so there we go so just put it to the right a little bit wait until he gets underneath the lampshade and then that is how you do it put it to the left job done now we can move on and head back down so again like i said I'm trying to have to try to try and explain things when I'll, some things happen quite quickly can get a bit confusing So I do apologize about that But anyway head to the right and up this ladder and here is the first secret room that we've discovered again 14 that we need to be finding and there will always be a painting in every one so again interact with it You know the drill by now So that's the first secret room done. Again, very easily missed, so just be careful. Anyway, he we're heading to the left, going back up into um, the same room. In fact, no, we're going down, actually. We're not going up. We're going down. Down, down, Charlie Brown. So head to the bottom one and turn the top light until the dog is on the floor switch. Head up the ladder. And then we can go to the right, get the dog to chase you, and jump back down. And hopefully... That should get the top dog um, all furnished up. Then we can go to the right and head down the ladder. There is a ladder. There's going to be the second secret room already. The blue library. Now, if uh, you have a filthy mind like me, blue stands for something which I cannot mention. Blue is pornography. Who likes blue pornography? I'm blue, dabba dee dabba die. I got some blue mouth. Uh, anyway. Wait for the painting to finish. Hmm. So let's go ahead, get a move on with this puzzle. Let's get this one out the way. So Second floor, middle floor, get the dog and start climbing back down the ladder. And then what we can do is uh, grab this lever, move it to sort of the middle of the clock, just in between the ladder and the globe thing. And the dog will start following it. Wait until middle floor dog starts nipping off to right. All right, baby, all right. Okay, so middle floor, get dog to chase you again. This time we're going to jump down once more. Boop. There we go, Gary's ankle still holding strong. Quickly put the light over to the left-hand side, and that is good as gold. Now we can climb up, climb up the right-hand side ladder, jump down, and it should still be okay for us to nip on by. So climb up the ladder, and leave. Leave this godforsaken place. But not for long, we do have another interactive painting that we have to do. Now, this one, again, without explanation, may seem a bit tricky, but press the white button to open it up. Now, what you have to do, every, if he puts the sword up, click up. If he puts it in the middle, there we go, you just leave it in the middle. Or if he puts it down, leave it down. So, 
His sword's going up, so now we need to do that. As soon as he starts laughing, like now, now press the A button, and that will give him, uh, that will stab him. So that's all we're doing then. So if you see his uh, sword chicken up, middle, or down, just put the shield up, middle, or down. And then as soon as he starts laughing, put his sword and shield down, press the A button, and that kills his... Mm, I was going to say mother, but that's harsh. There we go then, so that is the Knight achievement, the Knight, and when we head down, we're obviously just going to go into yet another bit of puzzle, so what are we, 41 minutes in, we're getting there, we're, we're slowly getting through the, um, it's not even a grind to be honest, this game is really, really good, not at not one point did I find this grindy at all, so another cutscene, you can see chickens playing with themselves or whatever they like to do when we're not watching, hmm, laying eggs and mating, dirty bitches, Anyway, get the uh, tentacle. We're going to have to wait in the middle at the minute. Wait until tentacle starts going to the right. And then quickly jump down and switch off this light. And then go back up the ladder. Just wait here in the middle. And again, we're waiting until he nips off to the left. Go back down the ladder. And then turn the light back on. So, for now, he's just going to whip out this dog. And dog's going to be like, Hey, son of a bitch, I'm taking a nap. Which, again, is most of us, to be fair. But Tentacle's going to go up. As soon as he goes up, um, we can get the dog to chase us. And we can start climbing all the way up to the top. Top floor. Uh, just wait for a second until Tentacle starts turning back around. There we go. Dog's going to be like, Ay, son of a bitch, get out of my bed. And this time, he's actually going to go up and through the gap in the wall. So with that, he's going to turn around, and then what we can do is turn on the light as soon as he gets over to the floor switch on the left. So that's the tentacle taken care of. To the second floor. Oh, we've got another, well, this is an unskippable cutscene right here, but... Well, the chicken stopped doing things with himself and giving us a book, which is nice. And except that cutscene was entirely skippable, so again, lie to you, so... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here, let me send you some money. Anyway, <laughs> no, you can't because I don't have any. It's unlucky. Right, so we're going to climb all the way down the ladder. Two dogs and another tentacle to get past. Stop barking at me, you butt snatch. Go to the left and interact with the very leftmost lever. That will get the bookcase down. And you can stand on the floor switch. Don't think this actually does anything for the time being. But we're just waiting for tentacle. There he goes. So now he's going to start going to the right. He's going to put the dog as soon as the dog's over. We can now get off there and tentacles the other side. So that trapped the dog basically on the right hand side. So now we're going to um, all the way up. Don't worry about tentacle. He's just going to start nipping back down. And uh, we can jump to the right hand side and interact with this painting. Again, this one doesn't give you a specific achievement. But we need to collect all paintings anyway to get the art collector achievement. Or whatever it's called. For collecting all the art. Well, this is very nice. We've got a B. We've got... Duck chickens with human legs and human arms, but with duck hands. <laughs> Who came up with this? <laughs> Who came up with the idea? Because that really gets pervs on their way. <laughs> anyway, we're not here to talk about pervs who make love with ducks. We're going to go all the way back down the ladder to the left-hand side. Make sure uh, Tentacruel, again, is on the left. And he can start going back through the bookcase. And then... Well, now we can just turn the bookcase up, so interact with that lever. And now we can get the dog straight back out. So, we're standing on this floor switch for now. Dog is just going to go back on his bed. I assume that's a bed. And then Tentacle is going to come back down and start pushing him to the left-hand side. <laughs> Lucky brother. Now he's like, ah, now I've got nowhere to go. God damn, you're a piece of crap dog. Right, as soon as he's done that, Tentacle's the other side, now we're jumping back down, and he's going to start getting the dog. As soon as he starts going over to the right-hand side, quickly jump over, and then go down the ladder. You have to do that quite quickly, otherwise Tentacool is going to kill you. But luckily, like I said, if you do end up dying, you don't start from that 
far behind. So it's never necessarily too bad. If you make a mistake or anything, you can either just restart the scene or it, honestly, it's just easier to die. So you don't so you only start from like 20 seconds behind or something. Take that life advice. Except don't take it as really good life advice because I don't die if you've made a mistake. That's That's harsh. Anyway, we're just going to interact with this button. Now we've got to run to the left <laughs> so the dog doesn't kill us. And we are going to get a new piece of equipment, which basically enables us to turn on or turn off specific lights in any given room. As we are going to see our little chicken friend, he stopped um, laying eggs for a minute. Yeah, goddamn friendly. Or oh, is that a peacock or rooster or eagle or something? Can you tell I'm super intelligent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So all you need to do then is press the Y button, that turns the lights on and off, but remember it does give out like half a second delay, so just to be um, on the safe side there, so get the dog to chase you, press the Y button, and there we go. So as you can see, it's, it's probably not even half a second, but by the time he pisses around with the switch, uh, you don't want to do it too late, otherwise you will get, once again, your ass eaten, which, again, is not the good time. Uh, <laughs> not the good kind. So... Jump over to the other side and then jump down. Turn the light off with the Y button. And then jump down. Get the dog to chase you. And then uh, press the Y button as soon as he gets under this light. There we go. Happy day. So just push him. Get him off the floor pad or the floor switch. So put him to the left. Climb all the way back up. And then jump down. Boop. There we go. Interact with this lever. That's going to get a tentacle coming the other side. And then press the Y button Again, I'm just going to turn that one off for a second. So, dog's going to walk by. We, can, we need to get the dog on the floor pad, as you can see. And that will close the door so Tentacool doesn't kill us. He's going to start flying up. So, now press the Y button again to get the dog off. Now, we can go up. And then, as soon as Tentacool goes here, t press the Y button. And we need to get him on the floor pad right there. That opens up the door where the dog is. Interact with the lever again. And then get the dog to chase you. As soon as he gets onto the floor pad, whack open the uh, whack open the light with the Y button. That is that. Now we can go down. So these puzzles are not too bad, but I think explaining them, it's, sometimes it's probably worth just watching what I do rather than me explaining them. But again, I'm trying to do both just so you've got, you know, all depends on your preference. If you want to hear this gorgeous Welsh voice. <laughs> right here, go to the left. Don't press any buttons yet. Go to the left and interact with the painting. <laughs> That's going to get us the uh, another secret room and another painting. So, but yeah, that is why I do it both. So you can either hear sexy Welsh. Delishimo. Or if you've had enough of my voice and you'd rather just... Um, <laughs> do the puzzles on your own or just watch what I do then of course you know where the mute button is and you probably unsubscribe because I've spoken too much through this game so <laughs> sorry sorry please don't unsubscribe so we're pressing the button we're going up Right, so from here we need to go down, all the way down the ladder. And then if we interact with the left one, right one, damn it, sorry. Interact with the right one, go up and then go down the left one, there we go. So we need to do specific things. We need to get all four dogs basically towards the switch. So first of all, head on to the first, the bottom floor we'll call it. Get the dog over to this side, press the Y button there to get the switch going. Head up onto the top floor. And jump over to the other side to get the dog chasing you. Head down the ladder. And then go to the right hand side to get this dog chasing you. Jump up. 
up to the ladder, go to the um, go to the left side and get that dog chasing you. Tidy beans. Um, press the white button to turn it off. And then don't jump over to the other side. Stay here and the dog will start coming towards you. Now we can press the Y button. And this is exactly what you need. So all four dogs basically on the edge with all four lights. So when we're done with that, head up the ladder. Down the right one and then up the middle one. So yeah, sometimes with the, the pressing the Y button, the timing can be... Uh, it can knob you off, to be honest. It can nup you up. But there we go. So press the Y button. Run up to this dog, get him chasing you. Hey, come here, you lazy bastard. Come in, come in. Sustain the light so we can't hurt you, but then press the Y button. As soon as he gets here, we should now be good. All the other dogs have gone. And there we go. So this is on a bit of a timer as well. So when all dogs go there, we should have this light appear. We can just push him. And then go on our merry, merry, gentle ways. As we get to the top, before going to the right, head to the left, ever so slightly, interact with this painting. Um, we see someone with a bookshelf for a back. Man, that is some badass surgery. And I genuinely mean actual badass surgery, not good. Did they not have any bones or anything? Oh, we're back's missing. Let's just stick a bookshelf in it instead. Okay, that's cool. Well, that won't break easy. <sighs> Man, these surgeons in this place, disgusting. To interact with the lever, and uh, we're going to get my ex-missus down, the little rat. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, jump down anyway. So, needing to do a bit of waiting. So, we're going to wait for Tentacool at the bottom there to head on by to the right. Bye, bye, bye. Right, so we can jump down. Uh, we just stand on this floor pad for the time being. I don't think it makes a difference at Actually, for a minute, what we're doing is just waiting for Tentacool to come on by again. And then, as soon as he does, he's going to start coming back towards us. Press the Y button now, and that gets him on the pad. Which opens up that bookcase. So, head all the way up the ladder now. There we go. Jump over, and then we're going to climb down the ladder. And jump down. And then what we can do is quickly jump over to the other side, and then jump back. Dog's going to start chasing us. Press the white button again. And that gets Tentacool on his way. Don't worry about the dog. You can jump down. And we can head back up the ladder. <laughs> and if you think this room is familiar, yes, I'm pretty sure we've already been in this one. In fact, we have because the painting's right there. So stand on this particular bookcase. This is specifically what we need to do to get up. And all we're doing, once again, is just waiting for Tentacool to get on the bottom uh, floor pad. As soon as he does, press the white button. Bam. And up we go. Eventually, the dog will start nipping back to his bed like a little... He looks like a little cute boy, doesn't he? Otherwise, we are good to go. Press the button and life is good. We have finished in another hour or so. Okay, here we go. On to the next interactive painting then. So make sure to interact with this one before we leave. Right, there's three things that we've got to do. Basically, not get caught. So easy enough. When this guy is going to the right, obviously we need to just go into the next bush. So you need to um, hold the left stick until you get behind the bush. So just keep waiting. And every time, Like I said, every time he starts turning to the right, and then eventually when he starts turning to the left here, we can now just nip on by. So now there's two guys with guns, so it's just the same thing. So wait until they start going to the right, and then as soon as you get to the right-hand side, and they start going left, etc., you know the drill.
Whoops, and I didn't just got caught there. So, uh, yeah, if you do end up getting caught, normally you can just re uh, replay the same bit. So, again, just wait until these guys go to the right. Uh, so, you should be good for this bit. Obviously, don't get in their line of view, otherwise they'll think, Oh my god, it's a moving tree. Am I high right now? So, wait until the woman turns around, then start going. Stay behind her, though, of course. And then they're going to start... Come on, stop arguing and make up. Go on. Give each other a little smoochy smooch. Okay, once he goes left, you go to the right. That one is done. So again, not too bad, that particular one. T for two and two for T. So uh, man chicken friend got his T. And life goes on. Right, so we can now move on. Shall we? Okay, here's the next puzzle then. So... Heading on up, we got Tentacool right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so, all the way to the top. There we go. Now we can jump down. And jump down again. If we jump across here, and we can jump down once more, and jump to the other side. What we can do is... Just wait. Wait until Tentacool goes to the right, and then climb up. And here we go then. So, interact with this first switch. That's going to turn that one off. Yeah, we're just going to leave it off, by the way. Interact with the switch, the second switch, which turns it on. And we can jump down and down again. There's a lever we can interact with here. That pulls that drawbridge down. And we're just going to wait underneath this light for a second. These tentacles are not very good. Scared by a bit of light. Wee! It turns me into furniture. Wee! We all do stuff we don't like, Mr. Tentacool. Right then, so once it starts going up then, we can now move on, jump up, and here we go, go across, and now we can head quickly up again, and this time we're just going to wait again for Tentacool, and then we are going to go to the right hand side switch, in fact, yes we are, we're going to turn that switch off this time, as soon as Tentacool goes to the right down here, we are going to wait for him to go down, there we go, Starts going to the left. And we need to start going to the right, yeah. A lot of waiting when it comes to these bloody tentacles, man. So, jump down, interact with the lever again. And that puts the drawbridge up. Up goes tentacle as well. And then, when he starts going back down, we just need to wait for him to go back down. Come on, buddy, you ain't got a day, man. I'm starving. So, interact with the lever when he goes down, and he's going to keep going down. For us, we can now jump up. And go across the other side, back up the ladder. Again, try and do this sort of as quick as you can, even though we are waiting about. Turn on the light. Uh, sorry, no, turn off the light. Turn on the light when he is the globe, uh, when he gets on the uh, this, this bleh, floor pad, switch pad, whatever pad. So that's all we wanted. So we can actually now just push him onto the floor pad. And that gets us a scappy mowing. Right, let's interact with the lever. That actually only gives one drawbridge. Now, of course, we need to get the second one. So, start heading down Brown Town. And we've got this lever that we need to do some interacting with. So, put it sort of in the middle of the ladder on the right-hand side, the light. Now, go down, uh, get the dog chasing you, and then climb up this right-side ladder. Oh, in fact, no, sorry. Press the Y button to get the bookcase up before doing that. That always helps. Okay, so from here, we can just put it to the left. Uh, just, in fact, we need to put it... Put the light sort of in the middle of the bookcases, as it were, of, of the bookcase. So around here, just so, this, so just so the light shining on both switch pads. Jump back down. And now we can grab this uh, furniture, put it on the left-hand side switch pad. Floor pad. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you with that, by the way. Um, so, press the white button to put the bookcase down and bring the uh, light over a bit. So now we need to get the right hand side dog to jump over. We can obviously jump over here. As soon as he gets here, right next to it, press the white button to put the bookcase up. And now we can interact with the switch at the top. And then we're just going to go ahead and shine it more or less in the middle again. Press the white button to get the bookcase down. And all we're doing is dragging that other bedside cabinet, drag it over to the other floor pad, job done. 
So from here, we're just going to go all the way to the right on this floor. It's going to open up another secret room for us and another painting. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got a couple of horses eating. We've got a, a duck dick nose right there. That's um, that's a nice painting. Very, very nice. And I mean, that's basically it now for this section as well. So if we head to the left, head all the way down. The two dogs should not be able to kill you. Aha, losers! Press the white button there to get the bookcase up. I mean, I assume it's a bookcase. They look like bookcases. Anyway, head down, head up this ladder, interact with the switch, and that's going to get the second drawbridge on its way. And we can now move steadily on. Progression is slow yet fast. I mean, in real life, in any other games, you literally could have just climbed down the ladder, jumped off, and then, like, jumped across to the other side. You always risk death. If you're going to risk death by two dogs, you might as well risk death by falling 100,000 feet, right? <laughs> Red. So head down. Here we go to the ladder. We're coming up to yet another puzzle. And now these guys, these will only copy your move. So if you move to the left or the right, this is what this guy will do. So it, it, it's, it's kind of one of them weird ones, as you'll be able to see. Obviously, you don't need to get too close, otherwise he'll spike you with his Bart Simpson haircut. So we're heading down the left one and up the right one. Go to the left all the way, and then go to the right. Climb back down the ladder. And go up the ladder, and we've now got in front of him. That is how to get in front of him. So, again, very easy enough to know and understand what they're doing. But, uh, yeah, sometimes the puzzles can be a bit tricky. So we need to get him on this switch pad. Get him to fo go left once, and then go up the ladder. Interact with this lever. And that gets him behind the bookcase. So now go all the way to the right. And now we can interact with the lever, and that gives us a bit of breathing room. Not only does it give us a bit of breathing room, when we jump over to the other side, he now sits on the, st the floor pad and go all the way to the left before climbing up the ladder. That's going to get us another secret room. So we're starting to get <laughs> quite a few in. Now, oh yeah, doesn't this guy look like, hey baby, I might only have a one inch wiener, but I just shot a plate to death. <laughs> I am f fantastic. Would you like to make love to my gauntlets now? <laughs> That's what that face resembles. Pure douchebaggery, dick buggery. So up we go then. Up the up the ladder we go. Very nice painting of a penis hole. Just why? Why? Nobody needs to be that smug. Right, so this time we're going to head to the left. Press the button to get the lift down. We're going to be doing a bit of back and forth, up and down and back and forth. Press the button here as well. And we can go to the right, all the way to the right one. Press the button, we're going to be going down the left this time. I will try to explain this as best I can, but sometimes you need to be quite certain and, you know, specific with your movements and where you're walking. So, we head down the middle ladder, grab the um, uh, lift down, and then we're going to grab it back up. And we head to the right once again, and now he is on the lift as well. So, now we can actually... Not go on. <laughs> We're going to go down the ladder as soon as he's up on the top floor. All the way down. Head to the right. And then we're going to head to the left, in the basically in the middle. So stay here. Now, interact with the lift and then go over on the left once. So one step. Take one step to the right and then go to the left. And then climb down the middle. Very important that one step. Go down to the bottom left hand corner. And then just move to the right so slightly so you don't die. Press the Y button, when we get onto the pad, when our enemy gets onto the pad, then click the Y button, and he turns into a coat rack. <laughs> so, very specific, now we can get to the other side, but, like I said, as you can see, that the whole sort of, take one step right, take one step left, some of these steps have to be very specific and peculiar, but again, if you do make a mistake, remember, just go into the Bart Simpson style haircut, die, and um, that'll just make it easier instead of restarting a scene and doing a whole bunch of crap again. So again, I hope I'm uh, explaining, I am trying to explain things as best I can. So heading all the way to the left, just interact with this painting. we got Pinocchio climbing a tree to get some... Are my eyes bad or do they just look like um, 
weird sweets that you find only in the most exotic of places, but it's actually full of poison. I'll take 20. So, with the Pinocchio exotic sweet love story done, let's go and get out of this area. So, uh, interact with the switch, go all the way to the right, so inch your way over to the left hand side, inch your way to this switch, turn it on, and then go down. Now he's stuck by the light, which is fine. So from here, what we actually need to do is take one more step to the right. So eventually I'm going to figure that one out, but as you'll be able to see, we take one step to the right here, and then we can climb back up. So again, all these tiny little important steps. Go to the right, switch on the light, that's going to turn him into a coat rack, and job done. So, again, if you're not seeing what I am, we can obviously head, just head back down now and jump back down. If you're not seeing exactly what I am, uh, just go back, die, just go back a few seconds, and it'll be something like you've missed a step to the left or step to the right. It gets annoying, to be honest, but it's not bad. So, with this one, what we need to do then, we are obviously the human man on the right-hand side. We need to copy the dances, what the dancer is doing. So, as you can see, when he goes, puts his hands down, when he puts his arms to the left, you go left. When he puts his arms to the right, as you can see, you go right. So, just copy what the dancer is doing, puts his hands up, up, down, left, right. So, now it's left, and then it's right. Just keep following him until the achievement unlocks. Not too shabby, with his big fat belly. I hope your dancing skills were better than mine. So head down this ladder to the right anyway. Yeah, my dancing sucks. I am the typical white guy dancing, by the way. As we get to this ladder, go to the right to unlock another secret room and another secret achievement, the Egyptian. And see a bunch of dogs dancing and some music or something. I don't know, and some magic mushrooms appearing. That's kind of what these um, paintings and mini games remind me of. If you take a magic mushroom and you see something that you're probably not supposed to see. But yeah, as I was saying, I am your typical white guy at dancing. Sort of hands in the air, shuffling feet. Piece of crap, really. Well, lucky I've got a small ginger beard to get me through these days, huh? <laughs> Jen, I promise I'm not as ugly as I make myself sound. So anyway, head all the way to the left ladder. We're going to jump down and into the next one. Now, the, this... These movements have very specific movements that we need to do, so just copy everything that I exactly do. So this bit's fine, we can go all the way to the left and start heading back up, because one step out of line and you just have to reset, replay this whole section, it's a bit annoying. So jump down, jump over, and then jump down. Now we can climb up the ladder, so he should be on the very right hand side right now. Go to the left, go down, and jump over again, jump down, now take one step, Two step, over, and then one step, right, and then climb up. So, two steps, and then climb up the ladder. Now we can jump down, jump down again, once to the right, click the switch, and he should now turn into a coat rack on the stat pad, so, on the floor pad. So, hopefully you uh, got through that first time as well. For me, I ended up having to replay it twice, because I went too far to the left once, and then too far to the right, and it was all just a pain. A pain in my absolute nutsacks. Anyway, to the right, we are heading up the ladder. I mean, to be fair to Gary Big Nose here, he is—he has a lot of uh, a lot of stamina because I'd be knackered after the first ladder, to be honest. The second one, right? So go up this ladder, head all the way to the right-hand side. This bit is not as bad as it, it seems. So go to the right and then up, jump down, and then you should now have the fourth um, spiky-haired boy up when we interact with that lever. So you should have the fourth Bart Simpson there. Let's go to the right and then to the left again. Interact with that lever. Now you should have a gap in between the Bart Simpson heads. Now we can go to the right. And we're climbing up the right-hand side most ladder now. Go to the right all the way. 
and then we're going to jump down to the left, jump down, go to the left, interact with the lever. Now that should trap all the Bart Simpson heads, and that is how it's done. Now we can jump down, go to the uh, right hand side most ladder, jump down, and we've got another interactive mini game painting to be doing. Now this one can be a bit of a pain in the ass, so you press up and down, keep pressing the A button to shoot, I'd continuously keep shooting, but basically you press left and right to get the right hand side guy's gun up and down, and um, up and down to get the left hand guy's, the left side guy's gun up and down, so it's going to get to a point where you're going to have to shoot two animals and three, but if you just keep spamming the A button, and I would highly focus on just um, focusing on one guy first, killing them animals, and then quickly focusing on the other guy. Otherwise, it can get a bit overwhelming. Right, so hopefully then you would have got that first time. It's it's not too bad when you get, a, again, a sort of stranglehold on it, but, uh, you know, can be a slight pain in the old butt snatch, as it were. So, here we go then. Now we're into some kind of school gym. What the hell? This is like the last secret world of Atlantis, which is super cute. Anyway, head all the way to the right-hand side. We can see the coat rack. What we're going to do is press the white button to get the first light off on the left hand side. Now push him out and you should be okay. You shouldn't spike him up. Uh, but if we go, make sure there's like a little gap and then as soon as he's on the very left hand side, stack pad, floor pad, press the Y button to get that light on. Job done. Now we can just go past him, go down. Um, head on this second floor, go over and then press the switch to turn the bottom light off. Then obviously what we're going to be needing is this guy. So go to the right, not all the way. Make sure there is a gap of at least sort of one space in between you. Go all the way to the left, and you should both be on the lift. He's like, oh my god, I'm so close, I can't reach you. Be careful here, just inch your way ever so slightly. To, uh, press the white button to turn the light off. Oh, sorry, um, yeah, turn the light off. Put them over once, and then press the white button again. Because it, sh it should still be fine. You should be able to drag the right guy over onto the floor pad. Don't know why I kept calling it stat pad, by the way. I'm losing my marbles. So now jump, um, press the Y button, turn the light off. And now we can just keep jumping over. And that gets us through safely to the other side. Again, there are so many ways that you can do these. But my god, it's uh, <laughs> it would have taken literally a day and an age to figure these ones out. Really impressive puzzles as well. Not just your typical... Pieces of crap wins. So again, we got another cutscene that we can skip. We've got the diamond book, which apparently, uh, that's what we're after. That's the whole point of this journey. We were reading in our bedroom, and then we got to find some diamond book or something. Anyway, go over to the left side. <laughs> apparently. Okay, let's head down. Come on, Gary, big nose. We got time to be pissing around. Right, turn off the lights on the uh, top floor we just were. Jump down. Now, uh, press the Y button to turn that switch off. And now we can go and push the coat rack out. Get the Bart Simpson haircut going. Make sure, again, there is a little gap. And go to the left. Press the Y button there. Make sure he's not on the floor pad. Until we get on this bookcase. Now we can jump over. And we can now push this globe out. Which is, of course, going to turn into a tentacle jellyfish. So, now what we're going to do. He goes to the right. We're going to jump down. Um, we need to be able to get over, so go all the way to the left. Make sure to press the white button so he gets uh, stuck right there. Now what we're going to do is push him over to the floor pad. In fact, 
Yeah, sorry, so we need to push him over to the floor pad. Uh, you can do this a bit quicker, but it makes no difference if you haven't done it yet. So what we need him to do is go all the way to the right, make sure that the Bart Simpson guy is on the bookcase, and then we can stand on the floor pad. So, yeah, so again, to do that, just go over to the right-hand side, and then push him over to the left. So again, for some reason, that did slightly confuse me the first time as well. So again, hopefully I've explained that a bit better, or it hopefully... You've seen it, and it looks good. So as soon as Tentacle goes up, we can now start going up, but hang a banger. Wait until Tentacle goes to the... Uh, oh, so, sorry, it starts going down. So now, go up. <laughs> Wait for just a minuscule second, and then... we Now we can press the switch, and that puts him on the globe. Uh, puts him on the floor pad as a globe, and that opens the door on the left-hand side for us. Right, now we've got to get past Bart Simpson, so press the Y button, turn the light off, make sure again that there is a tiny little gap, and now we can press the Y button here when we get back onto the right hand side, that'll chill him out. We don't need him on the floor pad of course, so now we can get past and climb down the ladder. So, there's another painting here, um, by the way if you want to get off the ladder ever so slightly quicker for like a second, just press the A button when you're nearly on the floor. And he jumps off. Another painting, what have we got? So we've got a human cooking with a duck. There is an octopus, there is a lobster, we've got all types of crap going on and I would really like to know the story behind these paintings. Somebody either got high or somebody's ancestors are telling a lot of lies. <clears throat> anyway, so again, hopefully my explanation and things of these uh, puzzles <laughs> are doing its justice. It's just so much going on which is what you want in a puzzle game. But the easier puzzle games is literally just like push the block up here and push the block down there. Wah. Easy crap, isn't it? Not this time. So, interact with this um, miniature painting again. Now, this time what we have to do is we are a good boy. We are a good dog. We have to avoid the lights. So, it's literally just a case of waiting for the light to go off. Not, Don't go yet, though. Now, we can go to the right so we got four of these levels to do again if you end up dying you just start on the same level again so just wait for a second go to the first one now go to the second one and then as soon as the third one goes there we go so one to four or one to three one to four is from left to right right so from here we're just going to wait again go to the first one go to the second one stay in the second one though now we can go to the third now we can go all the way to the right. So this is the second to last one then. So here we go. Right. Go to the second one. Go to three. Stay here. Very important. Stay here. And then we can go all the way to the right when four disappears. This is the final room. Guy's crapping his pants, but you now we're cute. So from here, go to the second one. Go to the third. Stay here. Very important to stay here. There we go. Now go to the second one. Go to the third. And now we are good to go. And he's like, Oh my god, please don't... Please don't eat my bowels, man! And he's like, No, I'm just a doggy. I just want attention and love. Look at the love. It's so nice. So it is. Look, he's playing fetch and all sorts of crap. Oh, god damn, I love dogs. Right, anyway, so with that one completed, we are now into the next area. So, head all the way to the left, and then just interact with this lever to get that up. To get the floor up. Go to the left, uh, go to the right, sorry, down. Don't get confused with your left and right now, knob, cheese. Right, press the Y button to get the light off. Go all the way to the right, and then press the Y button. That should just about get the two coat racks all coat racked up. So, what we need to do is basically push the... Um, push them that they are both basically right on the edge as you can see so the left and the right one should be just on the edge and now press the Y button when you're in the middle of them and with this we, uh, we should now be able to get uh, onto the both platforms but for now we're climbing up the ladder and now as we go to the left we can press the lever to go up go down this ladder, that should now put us in the middle, basically safe from the dogs. So go all the way to the right, interact with this lever, that gets rid of the bookcase. Now we can go all the way to the left, get rid of Doggy McDogness, and that is how we're doing that section. So, 
As we head down, go all the way to the left before going down again. That's going to unlock yet another secret room. And what do we have? A very somber, wholesome picture this time. So we've got uh, Mrs. Duck Dick Nose uh, next to a bookcase. we got... Yeah. Yeah, nothing too funny about this one. Shame. But from here, what we're going to do now, we can head down and there is an unmissable painting on our right. As soon as we jump over the gap, boop, there we go. So now we can interact with this painting. What we got here, we've got a, a guy on stilts for some reason. Another bunch of uh, douchebaggery hunters. Deers behind like, mate, I tell you what, if I, if I had hands, I would literally, I would bum you dry right now. If I, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that, that I bet I think that's what all animals think about hunters. Anyway, I just assume. Anyway, from here we can now head down the ladder. Don't know what I'm on about. Okay, so now we're getting to the point where the lights get timed. I'll show you why. So head up the ladder. We need to go to the right. Get the dog chasing you. And there he goes, and eventually he's going to start chasing us until he stands on this floor switch. So go all the way to the left. Now now Bart Simpson should be just ahead on of this uh, floor switch. So as you can see, the, the timer starts going down. So what we need to do, as soon as the dog starts going back and he's under the lampshade, put Bart Simpson on the uh, pad. Now jump up and quickly jump over the dog as quick as he can. Jump down the other side of the ladder, and that is good. So that one is specifically, particularly timed, but it's not too bad again. So as we get at the top of this ladder, head to the left to find yet another little secret room. Very, very easily missable. So we got ducks kissing. <laughs> Look at these rich ducks. How did duck dick noses get ever so ever so rich? And the cats are like, bow, chicka, bow, bow. go and make some duck babies. Even though, how do ducks kiss? Because if it's just like two hard things going each other, like two. Anyway, who knows? Nature will decide that for us. So, from here, we got another cutscene. And we got the chicken playing a horn for some reason or something. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. But we're going to head down the ladder anyway. So, yeah. And like I said, we, with some puzzles, there's just so many things that are happening so quick. It's hard to try and cram it all in. Here's another unskippable cutscene anyway. We, we didn't get our diamond book because Bart Simpson douchebag head um, knocked it down. Press the switch. There you go. That bit is particularly easy. Heading back down again, and we've got another Bart Simpson who is just going to knock it down. We've seen many long items like sticks and everything. You literally could have just got a stick and dragged that, but again, anyway, not, not my place. Now we can head down the ladder. We're going to interact with yet another interactable minigame. Now this one is, this one's easy, but there is a particular timed bit. Um, but I will tell you exactly how we do this puzzle anyway. So we're all good. This bit's all automatic for a second. So when we get here then, just follow, follow along exactly what I do. So first of all, we're going to go through the middle door. Go through the middle door, press A to interact with it. Go through the middle door again. We need to pull the elephant's trunk and then leave the room. Go through the left door. Go through the left door again. Go through the right door. We need to interact with the speaking trumpety kind of snake looking thing. Now leave the room. Go through the left door. Go through the middle door. Go through the middle door again. Pull the elephant's trunk and leave the room. Go through the left door. Go through the left door. Go through the middle door. Now pulling the lever in here will start the time section. So pull it and then leave the room. Go through the left door. Go through the middle door. Go through the right door. Go through the right door. Cross the bridge and go through the door. Go through before, the door before the bookshelf blocks it. And there we go. So now we can just push the button, go up, and enter the door and enter the house. If you didn't manage to um, 
get through the door before the bookshelf blocks it. Just go back from step 15 again, which is pulling the lever and then run through it again. So, but hopefully you got through it with no problems and we get the achievement cats back. And once again, we are moving on. And there we have it then. So that's that one done. Let us move on. Let's keep enjoying the life of puzzlement. Or not. I know you enjoy my singing. I know it uh, turns you on. That's fine. Right, so here we go then. As we climb up the ladder, another part for us to uh, sink our titty teeth into. Right, so hop across and then interact with the lever in the... Uh, uh, as you can see, where we are then, just in the middle floor... Go to the right, turn off the switch, and jump to the left slightly until we uh, hit the lever again. So hit that one. Go back to the right, leave one... No, in fact, no, we should be good at the same time. So hop over, interact with the lever, jump back over, hit the switch, and we can now hop back over, hit the lever again. And then just go to the left, and that is what gets us up, out, up, and Adam. Up and Adam, etc., etc. So that is how we get up and Adamish. <coughs> ah, excuse me, coffee mug, coffee face, right there. So we've pushed the button. We're waiting for the lift to come up, but we can't, for whatever reason, we can't actually just, you know, jump onto the top of the door and go down. We've got to do a whole another puzzle, and we need to get these two um, hot baby things together. So interact with the switch to your left. Press the Y button to get the light. Off, and then walk forward two spaces and that will get the other lever out So walk forward until they are both on the gap and then press the Y button again Press the Y button again until she is coat rackish. So go to the left And then go one step to the right put the lever on that will put Bart Simpson up a notch Put him over to the light and then press the Y button again and Now she's out with the light so go to the right one step two step three step That'll put her in yet another coat rack section. Go to the left once and then to the right once. And then press the Y button again. Go to the left all the way to the left and interact with the lever to pull it down. Go to the right, to the right. Press the Y button. Go to the left again. And then one step to the right. And now we can interact with the lever to get female Bart Simpson up. So now go to the right and they should both now be on bookcases. And that should happen automatically, so that would be fine. And then what they're going to do, walk to the left. And they're going to be all like, Oh my god! Bud Simpson, a female Bud Simpson! Ah, uh, what a cute love story. And that in a story of everything trying to kill you is actually the cutest thing we can do. We've just reunited. I mean, god damn, what, what, what happens if, like, one of them spikes the other one's butt and stuff? That must... Well, that must tickle a bit. Maybe it tickles for them, but it hurts for us, apparently, if it can kill us in one hot, one hit. So, here we are. Welcome to Goat Central. What we're going to do first, though, is jump down and head to the left. Jump over, and it's going to be another secret room for us. And another painting. We've got a... Is that supposed to be like a, a, a duckfish or something? The two scientists. One's a human, he's probably made love to Duckfish's daughter or something, and that's why he's a scientist, because he looks kind of out of place in this world. <laughs> but anyway, this is what the painting is. And when that's done, we press the B button to get out of it. Right, with these goats, all they do is run away. <clears throat> so luckily for us, they do run away, but they can still kill you if you get too close. So that's just something else to bear in mind. So head over to the right. Don't remember not to get too close, um, otherwise you'll die. Just climb up the ladder, and he'll start nipping down to eat grass. That's all goats want to do. So jump down, interact with the lever, and just keep running to the left. Goat's going to jump up. Now go up the ladder. He's going to jump up again. Go to the left and jump up the ladder again. Man, all goat wants to do is eat. God damn. So when he's down on the right-hand side, we can jump down to the left. Jump down off the bookcase. Jump to the right hand side and we are going to climb up and he's going to finally go into the middle of it. So what we can do now is, there he goes, starts eating, nice stuff. Press the Y button to turn him into a chair. 
Job done. Happy days. So we'll climb up the ladder in the middle. And, well, you'll have to push the chair over depending on where you get it. But push the chair over and we can climb up. So yeah, the goats are not too bad. But because the goats are more running away and they, they, it's kind of more un unpredictable. Another interactive painting here, by the way. A bit more unpredictable. Um, it can get potentially a little bit frustrating with the puzzles sometimes. But all we've got to do for this one, nice and easy, um, pressing the left stick and right stick will move our magician and we've got to put uh, a few things through the hoop. So that's all we've got to do. So you've got to press the A button a couple of times to sort of gently lever them up. And obviously the fatter things get, the harder it's going to be. But it's actually not too bad. There's no time limit or anything, so... Owl good. And to be fair, that's one hell of a magician if you manage to get a chunky cow through a hoop. I was going to make some kind of uh, X-related joke, but I, I, I feel like I've done that too many times already. So as we climb down the ladder, we're going to have a little cutscene with the diamond book. You could probably just get one of them in, you know, Kmart, Jmart, Hmart, Tmart, or whatever marts there are in America, but hmm, apparently not. So go ahead, do some following of the goat. Um, this is uh, just an... Cutscene that we cannot skip. And now old Gary Big Nose is fuming. Which is a damn shame, isn't it? Right, anyway, what we can do, jump down, head over to the right and climb up the ladder. And don't worry about Goat, he's just going to carry on chowing down with fat yip. Keep going to the right, jump down. We're going to interact with this lever, which gets out this dog on a wheel. Dog on a hamster wheel, nice. And when the lights come on, go up the ladder... Go to the right, and now we can interact with the button. Alright, let's do it then. Should we do another puzzle, shall we? Mm, shall. Mm, let's. Mm, yes. So let's start off by climbing all the way down to the floor, interacting with the lever on the bottom. And that puts the big slab of stone up. So, climb up and up all the way to the third one or the second, whatever it is. And what we can do is jump down from here to the left where the goat is. Again, don't get too close because you will die. He is going to horn you straight in your mouths. And that probably hurts. So, when he starts eating grass again, we can now jump back up. And what he's going to do is start running away like a scared little pig. Scared little pig, I mean scared little goat. So yeah, don't worry about him killing you. You can just climb up beside him and he'll jump up, which is fine. So now put the uh, slab of stone back down. Be interacting with the lever at the bottom and then climbing up. This time we're going all the way to the top. And we're going to be doing the skip, hop and dump and jump across. After pressing the Y button, get rid of the light, of course. And now we can jump down. The goat's going to go down one, which you may think is bloody frustrating, but it all comes in due course, my little friends. So, mate, he won't go past, but we need to put the slab of stone up. Anyway, wait until he goes to the right, start eating the grass. Now we can jump up, and he starts flying up again. Again, wait until he goes to the left, and then we can just jump back down. Whack over, open with the slab of stone, which goes on the left. Which goes on the left, I'm on about. Which goes to the left. And now, as soon as he starts eating grass, whack open the Y button. And shladam! That is how we do that bit. So, up we go. Up we go, little mo. I'm a poet and I didn't rhyme it. Anyway, head to the right. Interact with a switch. Cleverly hidden switch. It's going to be another secret hidden room for us. Old boners. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Nobody wants to think of old boners. Jesus Christ. Not those big old guys in the gym who just, you know, flop it on show. Why do old men do that in the gym? Just taking a shower? You want to see my genitals? Oh, here they are. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting on a bit with that one. Sorry, let's not talk about old man genitals anymore. So, after that room, come over to the left. Um, and we can see this wiener mole thing and the chicken. 
trying to build a wall. Obviously, that's going as well as a kick to the crotch. Uh, skip the cutscene, head down the lift. And uh, we are coming up to yet another interactive puzzle, so let us do this one then. So, slapping out the Y button. Let's open it up. Okay, this time, all we have to do, you can see a button on the right-hand corner. So, move the cursor up, or move the left-hand side stick up, until he takes his hat off there and starts dancing, then press the A button. So, for the next one, go down. You see the bird. As soon as she starts waving like that, then you can press the A button. Next one, go d all the way down again to like the lower tone, that's what it is. Wait until she starts nodding her head, and then press the A button. And for the last one, go all the way up until he starts uh, squiggling his hat up again. There it goes. Press the A button there, and that is how you do it. So, basically, we're just going for a high tune. So, from right to left, it's, it was high, low, low, high. But you had to wait for a couple of seconds until they start dancing, which uh, I didn't get first time. <laughs> it was starting to piss me off slightly. So anyway, now we can head to the right after we've got that achievement, so make sure that you've done that correctly and she breaks your eardrums and breaks all the glass in your windows. That is the point of classical music, opera music, right? Mm-hmm, <laughs> red. Heading up this ladder, we get yet another secret room. The shed, we've got a bird listening through one of those, um... Oh, is someone licking his ear? Oh, that's, uh... That's filth, mate, and I don't like it in my video games. Uh, <laughs> I think someone's licking his ear unless my eyesight's going nuts. Probably that one. So head back down the ladder, and we've got a couple of ghosts to contend with. So head down this ladder first, on the middle platform, uh, sorry, not at the lower platform, apologies, and go to the left, interact with this switch, and that's going to get the goat um, <laughs> grabbing his pants, but he is going to eventually go and... Eat some grass, so in the middle platform here, we are just going to jump down so that the goat can go to the right of us, then put the lever down. Now we're going to climb back up, and we're going to wait until the goat nips back over to the left. Is that all they do, is poop crap and poop crap and eat? They are literally just newborn babies, I think, aren't they? So now the goat is at the middle one, that is exactly what we need. So now we can climb on the middle one, go to the left, and he's going to jump over the other side. This time we're going to climb up, and again we're just going to wait till Goaty McGoatface nips over to the right, and we can just go ahead and chase him. <laughs> right, that's what we want. Again, don't get too close because you'll die. As soon as it does that, climb up, climb up the ladder, and now we have two goats on the middle platform. Our main goal is to get all three down in the bottom left-hand section, so chuck him over there, jump down, interact with the lever to open up the gate. So that the goats can't get out. <laughs> Losers! Into the middle platform. Now we can climb up. And we got that one goat down. So now we need to get him back over to the right. Uh, sorry, no, over to the left. So we can now uh, interact with the lever there. Put all three goats in the middle of the section. Climb up the ladder. Chase him down. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And one of them, they are going to go and eat. So you'll have to climb back down the ladder. Chase him into the left-hand side. Interact with the lever. Shut him in. And Bob's your uncle. Nan's your... Nan. Nan's your auntie. Well, it depends what part of the world you come from. But I hope uh, it doesn't happen a lot. Uh, your nan becoming your auntie and everything. Ugh. Anyway, that bit's done. So now we can climb all the way back up. Little cutscene again with our... I thought that was a three-eyed chicken then. But it turns out it was chicken's glasses on his head. And the wiener mole... With the cutscene all done, are we done? We're done, yeah, cutscene's all done, so <laughs> head to the left. And, oh, look at that in a puzzle game, you've got another puzzle to do, fantastic. So, head down the ladder. Once again, there is a secret room here as well, so we're going to climb up the ladder, so the goat goes to the right, climb back down that same ladder. Climb up the first ladder on the right-hand side, so the goat jumps down, and we can just jump down after him, follow him, chase him chase him and then press the white button there that will get two chairs for us which is just bang tidy uh, you can actually push the goat out uh, to the left he doesn't he's not needed but now what we can do is go to the very right hand side ladder there it is quite potentially easily missable there and what we can do now is obviously the goat was guarding the ladder so we can jump down it 
jump over to the left hand side and there is another painting for us it's not a secret room or anything but it is a painting that we need for the achievement later on so looks like he's feeding feeding a fish some water for some reason really got no idea what's going on but uh, well these scientists probably more bored back then than they were today at least you can go on like instagram and facebook and twat chat and shit talk and all that if you want to of course these days Ugh. TikTok. Ugh. Ugh. anyway once we are up here the puzzles are going to get sort of less tricky now we're starting to, starting to come down to the easier side of the game now but interacting with the lever this is just an unskippable cutscene you cannot skip hence why it's called unskippable So, we're going for a secret room, but it is time. So, we need to interact with this lever to get this up. Go to the left, go down the ladder. And at the bottom, there is a an interactive switch. There it is. So, interact with that. Quickly climb back up the ladder. Or as fast as Gary Big Nose will go. Go to the right. Now, there is a new ladder we can climb up. And this is where the secret room is. So, not too bad. Not too tricky. And now, this man's going fishing. Is he supposed to be training up a fish or something? What are we doing? Is it like the Fish Olympics? Or is it like a fish football game going on underwater? What's what's happening? Is he just a referee for a fish wart? <laughs> I mean, that was supposed to be like a Harry Potter Hogwarts thing, but fish genital warts, that sounded more like. Anyway, yeah. So he's dangling his berries, uh, hoping a piranha or something's going to chow down on it. If I were you in real life, I wouldn't dangle your dangle berries in any piranha pond, or any fish pond for that matter. Depends what you're into, I suppose. Anyway, heading all the way back down the ladder. And back to the next one. Oh, we have dog. We have dogs and goat. So, another little puzzle for us to do. So, jump over to the left. Climb down the ladder. There's going to be goat. He's going to climb up. Start eating some grass as he does. The lazy beast. Head to the left this time. And we can just... We're going to wait for a second. Wait... There we go. So now the dog is going to start chasing the goat at the top. And the goat will come down. And for now we can just jump down. We're going we're gonna to wait until the goats start uh, eating right there. A bit too early. As soon as the goat, both of them get on there. Now we can press the Y button and we have two chairs. And then what we're going to do is drag one just to the left ever so slightly. And drag the other one to the right ever so slightly. There we go. There's those two done. Now we can stand right in the middle. Make sure to stand in the middle of them so that they will both, as you can see, hop over to the other side and get the lights going. And up the ladder we go. So, yeah, for, for whatever reason, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start to be more cutscenes than it is <laughs> puzzles as we come to the end. But we've got one more. This is the last interactive puzzle to do. And this one is an easy one. You can just see there is a chalkboard at the uh, back of the back end of the grass there. It's just going to tell us what to do. So, obviously, uh, to move the fish sort of up and down and all around, you press the left bump, uh, left stick and the A button as we've been doing. So, this time, what he wants us to do is just to go through the hoop. You know, very easy. That's all we're doing. Going through a couple of hoops and then putting a ball through the hoop. Simple as sticking jeans on a huge ball. Berlick. Or something. Really running out of good things to say.
Whoa, go on, piranha boy. You take that chicken legs. Look at them. God damn, look at them legs. Piranha wants to eat them bad boys. And that big chicken dick beak nose of yours. Anyway, once that is done, that, that uh, little trying to put a ball through the hoop took a, a little while. <laughs> took me around literally a minute there. Right, we're just heading down the ladder. And this is the final boss. This is the hardest boss fight you will ever do because we're not actually doing anything. So it's just an unskippable cutscene. All it's going to do is tell you to go to the right a couple of times. Now, to me, he looks like he's just hes a scary little dude, but he just looks like he's made out of wood. So as nobody, it's literally nobody knows what a fire is. Chuck a fire bomb on him. That's it. Dead. No more pissing about then. Hmm, kind of funny that uh, the one thing that the big monster eats is the wiener mole. <laughs> the one thing that looks like a wiener. <laughs> well, maybe monsters do swing that way. Who knows? Um, <laughs> you know, every living being is a good living being, but a, 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 a monster like that, I assume only there's only going to be one of them. So how does it know what snectural snintersnors is? Right, so for this bit anyway, there's literally not a lot going on. All we're going to be doing is following our chicken-headed beak friend. Um, we do have a couple of more puzzle rooms left to do. Otherwise, a lot of this is going to be skipping the cutscenes and trying to make sure our chicken friend is fine. Otherwise, for now, now you remember what I said at the beginning of the game. We're going to go through this whole thing of going down and trying not to be eaten by furniture monsters that um well let's just say all we had to do was um take a hidden lift if we could just take a hidden lift down literally about two hours of this game could have been avoided hmm as we will see But we're not actually going to be seeing just yet. We do have a couple of more things to do because apparently you nor the chicken can go ahead and get into the water. So anyway, as we head down the ladder, head to the right. It's going to be another secret room. Dark corner. So that'll be that secret room done. So we've got the uh, old scientist there and fish tail. Yeah, I really still don't understand why they're trying to train a fish for a human and a fish chicken thing. Anyway, moving on. That looks like a set of balls there, hilariously, in the foreground. <laughs> now we can just head down the next ladder. And like I said, we don't have long to do. We've got about 20 minutes left of the game now. And again, a lot of it is just sort of running about, not doing much. But for now, we're going to head over to the right and head up this set of ladders. 
Press the Y button, that will get rid of the light, and this... <laughs> I'll tell you what that looks like. Press the Y button when it's facing you, until the water starts spouting down to the right, and that gives off a light that, we, that wasn't previously there with the floor on it. So now we can interact with the lever, and that bit is done. We can just now head back up. Head down, turn the light off again by pressing the Y button, and the, um, <laughs> what kind of looks like an elephant wiener. Or oh, elephant trunk, yeah, sorry, I shouldn't... Hmm, I shouldn't say wieners all the time, should I? Anyway, when he's facing the left, now we can go, because the light will present to you a floor, which again, when there is no light, there is no floor. Because it's all just water. So, there's the next painting. I think we've got one more left to get the achievement with. So th this always comes in handy training. How much blood can get rushed to your head? And how lot? How fantastic is my core strength and my leg strength that I can just hang upside down here for a while? Interesting. Okay, heading down the next ladder anyway. We're getting there, honeys. We're getting there. So we do have a Bart Simpson monster. But again, don't worry about him. So go to the left once. And elephant trunk starts looking at you. Press the Y button to get the light going and then jump down. Press the uh, lever and then go across and then go back. And then we can get rid of... Uh, and then interact with the lever to get rid of the thing again. Press the Y button. Stand here. Press the Y button again until when it's shooting down. Go to the left once and then uh, to the right and then hopefully you should be having... Um, this is what it should look like. Now we can just push him out of the way. For whatever reason, again, this is another one that just seemed to confuse the crap out of me for... Whatever reason, not entirely sure why. Um, but head to the left and then head to the right again. And if we climb up the ladder and go right again, all the way to the right, so he's at the left. Press Y, press Y again when the water's floating down to the right hand side. And there we go, going to the left. That should now square us away. Now we can go to the right. So, yeah, again, apologies, that one confused even me. But head to the right before heading down here. And this is the final secret room, and we have now collected all paintings as well. So, life is good. For some reason, she got a lighthouse on her head. They really wore some weird crap back in the day, didn't they? So, that's all secret rooms done. <laughs> that's all art finished. If you're an artist, then you'll probably know what all that crap means. But me, it's just like, I don't know, they're trying to train a fish, and she's got a lighthouse on her head for some reason. I'm sure there's a good deep story in there somewhere. So anyway, as we climb down, I do believe this is the final room. Anyway, head to the ladder and then go one step right to the ladder before climbing up there. Go to the right and jump over and then jump back and go down the ladder again. Go to the left, all the way to the left and then all the way to the right just before the ladder though. And now press the white button and the water will start spurting. We can climb up the ladder now. Go to the right and that will get to what we need. We can jump down. Go to the right, all the way, and now just go all the way back to the left. Eventually. There we go, so go right, left, and then basically until he's not at the very, very end. There we go, so you should now both be at the very end. Press the uh, Y button, and then press the Y button again when both water spouts are going down. And now that should give off the ne next two lights, we need to go... Get the middle one back, so go down the... Uh, uh, go to the left and climb up the ladder. Couldn't think of the ladder. Climb to the right, and there we go. So now, that should get all three lights going. And life will be bummer-banger. Yeah, or something. Climb down, climb down, climb down. Done a lot of climbing. i tell you what, Gary's going to have some epic forearm strength, some leg strength. He's been climbing and running away and... Doing all types of shniat. So, all we're doing, head down to the right. This is basically, uh, not this bit, but uh, this, is, this is a nice part now. Nice, pretty place. Jump on the flower. Jump to the right until we find what we are looking for, finally.
So, all this time we are looking for a diamond. Lucky for us though, this diamond actually keeps revealing the floor beneath us so we don't actually fall into the water and die. Even though it looks pretty shallow to be honest, so all of this I think could have just been avoided. Could have just gone for a swim and life would have been good, but apparently not. Uh, so, this is yet another unskippable cutscene, so just watch and enjoy for now. So all this was for a diamond so that we could walk across the floor. Okie doke. Or seemingly so. So now we're going to look at the one thing that's actually going to piss us off the most. So we've been here before, and apparently all we had to do was rip open one poster and reveal a hidden switch until a lift comes down. So, these um, chicken things, I think we need a word. Uh, these chicken things and the big wiener mole thing. See what we were trying to do? Trying to get this diamond. So instead of just going... Oh, look, pal, if you come here, the, we, we've got a bunch of secret lifts which just takes you past all the furniture monsters. You, come on, come and have a look. You can just nip down the bottom bit then, lovely. No, they decided to let us do all the things first, die many, many times, get pissed off many, many times, and then right at the very end went, Oh, shit, I'll tell you what we got. We got, we got a bunch of secret lifts. Oh, dear. oh, God, you'd laugh. Oh, you'd laugh. When in actual fact, you've got complete rage... And you want to make a chicken curry out of her. Anyway, now that we've all been pissed off about it, <laughs> and now that we've ranted it out, all we're going to do is literally just be following the chicken for now until we get to the very, very top. So it's going to take a couple of minutes though, so, well, I guess enjoy all the scenes that you've done so far. <laughs> Which you don't have to do again because there was a secret lift! <laughs> ah, dick move, bro! Dick move!
Well, I mean, I guess it, I guess it beats uh, having to climb all the way back up on the ladders, I suppose. So, anyway, we are now at the basically the final section of the game. So there is ten minutes. Again, there's a lot of cutscenes to do. We don't actually have to fight this guy at all. Uh, and again, Gary Big Nose, if you had said like, you'd just be like, look, you can just—he's full of just throw some fire on him. You'd be fine. You'd be dead fine. <laughs> But apparently nobody thought of that because they're all stupid. But he gives us some horns instead, so that's tidy. Right, so again, this is another unskippable cutscene, and we're all like, hey, let's let's do this, man. Yeah, four of us can take on a big, giant, huge monster like that, right? <laughs> Red. What we do need to do, we're actually going to be following our chicken friend right here. So as soon as you see him tell, as soon as you see him start running away, and he says, he st sort of points downwards, that is when we can go to the ladder. Right now, so he's pointing, run in, make sure to run after him straight away, because if you take a little bit too long, uh, you will die and you have to watch that unskippable little bit of cutscene again. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. So, again, we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. What a scary little pube. <laughs> Come on, old man, sort us out, brother. Oh, that, that's good blowing of the horn there. Anyway, that distracts the monster long enough anyway, so that we can go down the six-eye out of wood monster. So there we go. Chicken face is pointing. Let's go. Oh, he's angry. Has he got a thorn in his butt? <laughs> Get it? Because he's probably covered in thorns. Was that wood? I don't actually know. So we can't get through yet again, so our chicken-headed beak friend, oh, dick beak right there, is going to um, distract him again. And again, this is a, you know another completely easy section, but as soon as he starts turning around... Whew, that was close. Anyway, go, 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 go! Don't stop for no one. Just keep going. Keep flying up, boy. Keep going up! What we're going to do, we are going to jump into his mountainhausen. We want to see what it's like to be a snack. So, if you ever wondered uh, what it's like to be inside the belly of a matchstick monster who's just basically made of wood, that's what it's like. It's full of wood. He is just full of wood. I bet his morning wood isn't that impressive, though. <laughs> just like man. Right, <laughs> anyway, that is how you kill the monster. So that is how you get the... Uh, that is why we needed the white diamond. Oh, I thought the chicken was going to kiss us then. That would have been... Awkward and weirdly, hmm, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a little uh, curious of how a man makes love to a chicken, but not in this game. We're not doing that. We're just celebrating, and they're going to celebrate by giving us a song. So we've just been through all of that. And do you think we're going to get money? Do you think we're going to get fame? Do you think we're going to get just absolutely anything? No. What we're going to do? is those three are going to bang a drum and blow some horns and we are just going to use our Y button machine. <sighs> okay. Okay, I mean, I prefer the money and fame and the, and the, the, the riches and the, the girls, but, you know, apparently a song, a song's good enough as well as, as we wave goodbye. 
can't tell you how sad I am that I don't get any money out of that. But uh, hey, hey, no, we, d we did a good thing for these chicken, wiener moles, bat simpson heads and dogs and everything. So we just climb up. There is going to be another cutscene which we can skip because little wiener mole is going to start popping his ugly head down. And all we got to do is climb all the way back up. And that will be the end of Creeks. Again, don't be bitter that you didn't get no money or fame for discovering this completely lost land beneath your bedroom. And that you just saved the entire world by going all the way down to the bottom, getting a white diamond, which you could, could have probably picked up from uh, Kmart, Gmart, Hmart, Twatmart, whatever Mart, or whatever your local shop is, Tesco, Asda's and all that. Uh, no, we're just happy we've saved the day. We could have died many a times, but, uh, you know... Anyway, at least Gary Big Nose can now go back to his um, his coffee-induced poos every morning. Half past nine and half past two on the dot. Three and a half minutes each. Thoroughly wipe, etc, etc. Again, he still reminds me of it, even though we have just been through this uh, massive adventure. No, I don't touch myself. I think that's inappropriate for Jesus, you know. Anyway, so, um, well, there's our flashlight. You son of a bitch, you could have come in handy. And that, that is it. So, this again, this long lost thing beneath our bedroom, nobody is ever going to know. Now imagine if that was in real life today. TikTok would be blown up because they'd be going, you know, like I said earlier with that whole uh, people who've been living there. And they all of a sudden know about the secret basement and they go, Oh my God, it's a secret basement. Hey. Yeah, to be fair, mind <laughs> Gary Big Nose, I think you deserve a nap after that. But here we go. That's the credits. This is the end of the game. So now the only thing you should, the only achievement that you should have left is for completing the game at the end of it. That should get you all 20 out of 28 achievements. I do uh, just skip the credits here slightly. There we go. Amanita Design. So, I mean, that was a fantastic game. And if you did enjoy that and you haven't played Machinarium, I highly recommend you play that one as well by the same guys and gals who made this. So, there we go then, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game and I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. And I do hope it helped, even though there was probably a few times where there was quite quick instructions and everything. Hopefully, you could follow along anyway. Uh, but don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you did find it helpful. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, a big, huge, massive shout-out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. You guys and girls are just super legendary. And again, thank you to everyone who continues to just chat with me on the daily as well. Thank you so much for watching again, guys and girls. I'll see you in the next one then. Ba 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 be love you.